Good morning, everyone, and welcome to day one of our devotions uh, going through Holy Week. So it's going to be a great week of contemplation and reflection. And I'm going to bring the scriptures from the passage that the devotional uh, told us about, which was in John thir chapter 13. And because I, I love the story of the foot washing, I always, I always find it so meaningful to me. And I just want to begin at uh, uh, verses 12 through 15 and then read verse 17, okay? After washing their feet, he put on his robe again and sat down and asked, do you understand what I was doing? Referring to the feet washing. You call me teacher and Lord, and you are right, because that's what I am. And since I, your Lord and teacher, have washed your feet, and here it comes, you ought to wash each other's feet. I have given you an example to follow. Do as I have done to you. And then just one more verse down in verse 17. It says, now that you know these things, God will bless you for doing them. Super important verse. Now, I'm so glad for chapter 14 because that talks about the role of the Holy Spirit in our lives and how he gives us the power to do these things and he leads us and guides us into all truth and, and so forth. But, but Jesus said to do as I do, which would be absolutely impossible. Christianity would be mere legalism apart from the role and power of Easter, the resurrection, and the Holy Spirit in our lives. And Jesus doesn't call us to that. He calls us to this spirit-filled, spirit-led life. And, and he is the example, Jesus washing feet, which is really, I mean, obviously it's very culturally relevant in first century, but to us in the 20th century, kind of funky. So, you know, I want to ask you the question, what does that look like for you? Like in your life this day, what does it look like for you in coronavirus world? What does it look like you to wash the feet? Like, what does it look like for me to wash my wife's feet, to be for her what she needs me to be, to be for my neighbors what they need me to be, that I don't want to do? I don't, I don't, that's the power of it. Uh, Jesus is demonstrating servanthood, servant leadership. So it's not that I want to do it, so he's saying, do the things that you don't necessarily want to do. Parents, with your kids this week. If you're married, spouses, with your neighbors, do what you know, you're keeping your social distancing and everything, but I mean, what does it look like? So doing the things you don't maybe want to do, like post-coronavirus world, like kids ministry, a student ministries, outreach ministries, and, and we always say, but I don't want to do those things. I don't like to do those things. Well, sometimes God calls us to do the things that we don't like, we, we don't necessarily like. And again, Jesus' whole point is do as I do. So let's pray about this and just pray and ask God to help us with doing what we don't want to do, especially this week, especially this day. And he will bless us as we do it. So let's pray. Father, I thank you so much for the example of Jesus and how he washed the disciples' feet and the very throes of his betrayal and the very apex of what's about to happen on the cross and then in the resurrection, Lord. So help us to wash each other's feet. Speak to us, Holy Spirit, all day long about what that looks like, what that means to us. What does it look like? What is it, what is it practically going to be? I pray, Holy Spirit, you'll speak to us even right now of things. You'll pop things into our minds that we need to reflect on this week so that we can walk in your blessing this week. Thank you so much, Lord, for how you're at work in our lives. Thank you for this great week, this holy week as we move toward Good Friday and then Easter Sunday. In Jesus' name, amen. God bless you guys and have an awesome day.